disc uh, happy birthday to me uh, believe this is on DVD so I don't know why I bought this I think I just bought it because I like, wanted one buck for it on eBay so I figured was, might as well get this the only thing I'm worried about is it's a Columbia Pictures release and if you don't know most Columbia picture uh, laser disc or anything that has Sony related to it have crappy crappy um, trans uh, have crappy transfers also they're suffer from laser rot so um, I'm going to pop this in. I'm not going to be surprised if it's all laser rotted out. Okay. Here's another not on DVD release. This is uh, Fred Owen Ray's Haunting Fear. Directed by Fred Owen Ray. Uh, Fred Owen Ray is termed by me as probably <laughs> one of the worst uh, movie directors out there. I call him the American Joe D'Amato, except he doesn't make as many movies as Joe D'Amato did. Uh, he makes a lot of porn, a lot of crappy sci-fi horror movies, and uh, Haunting Fear is, uh, <laughs> is no different. Uh, so I haven't gotten through this yet, but uh, I plan to, but I just, I'm not expecting much because it's Fred Owen Ray. <laughs> okay, we got Horror Planet. Uh, this one, another alien ripoff. This one with alien rape. <laughs> so, uh, I was lucky to pick this up for a good price, 10 bucks I think it was. So, glad to have that, even though it does have, there is a DVD release under the Inseminoid uh, title, right? Okay, we got uh, Fulci's House by the Cemetery, widescreen edition, nice gate full with big gory artwork. Uh, what's the edition number on here? Ah, 189 out of, I think it was 700 or 999. Again, these EC uh, Fulci laser discs are going for buku bucks on eBay, so I was glad to get this before the prices went up. Okay, we got uh, Humanoids from the Deep by Roger Corman, or Roger Corman Classic. Uh, wasn't directed by him, directed by a... Uh, who was it directed by? Well, let's take a look. Barbara Peters. Um, this also was uh, recently released by uh, re uh, re released by uh, Shop Factory. Planning on getting that DVD because I want to see uh, they said that's finally uncut. Uh, as far as I know, I remember seeing this on HBO. I don't know if anything was cut off the HBO release, so I'll get the uh, cut release. See if there's anything I didn't uh, that's new on that that I didn't see before. All right, got Merzaki's uh, "I Spit in Your Grave." As most of you know, this was uh, remade uh, last year. Uh, I have the I have the remake, so I'm planning on watching that soon. Uh, I'm just glad to get this E Elite Entertainment release. Um, has a pretty good. Uh, doesn't have too much as far as uh, goes as uh, in the way of uh, the way of uh, supplementary material. It does have a tra does have a trailer, but uh, yeah. I think this was also released um, an Arrow Video. I might get that as well. This is a classic. Uh, I walked with a zombie. Able to get this for a good price on eBay recently. So I'm glad to get this. Uh, can't wait to watch this because it's supposed to be a classic. Okay, another one. Uh, this is a Murders, is an encore edition double feature. Murders in Room Org and Island of Lost Souls. Uh, Island of Lost Souls is still not on DVD for whatever reason. I think most of the old uh, Paramount pictures that are that were released on the MCA Universal label, there's some kind of they got some rights issues going on with that. So. A lot of those haven't been uh, released on DVD, so this laser just only goes for a pretty penny, and uh, I got it for uh, 25 bucks, so I didn't pay too much for it, luckily. So, and uh, this also stars uh, what's her name? Layla Hyams as the Panther Woman. Yeah, to me. <laughs> okay, we've got uh, Toby Hooper's Life Force. I uh, love this movie because I thought it was a pretty good. Uh, they're considered space vampires. I thought the movie was more of a zombie movie because it's got a lot of zombie uh, movie type uh, type aspects to it. You know, we can be affected and stuff like that. And uh, plus, it also features the lovely uh, Matilda May uh, in all her naked glory. So, <laughs> uh, I should get the DVD of this because this transfer isn't that great. I'm hoping the DVD transfer is a little better, uh, even though it's a bare bone release. So, I'll probably get that sooner or later. 
Uh, here's another. I think this is not, it's not on DVD. This is a little girl who lived down the lane. Um, Sorry, Jodie Foster and Martin Sheen. Don't know much about this movie. I think it's a vampire of sorts. Movie of sorts. So I hope to get to watching that soon. Ah, here we go. This is probably my favorite uh, Full Moon Entertainment release. This is uh, Meridian, starring uh, Sherilyn Fenn. Uh, very cool movie. Very, uh, very Beauty and the Beast-esque. But more for adults because it has uh, nudity and sex scenes. But it's still very... I thought it was very pretty... Like I said, it's probably Full Moon Entertainment's best release. It is my favorite release from Full Moon Entertainment. And uh, not on DVD officially. I do think... I do believe that... Uh, Full Moon does uh, make uh, DVD burns of uh, VHS transfers, but uh, this sports the Paramount label, and uh, this transfer is actually isn't half bad. It actually looks pretty good. Okay, we got Full Cheese, New York Ripper. I got this one recently. This one, I don't know why, it goes for a lot when you find it on eBay, um, especially since the, uh, I don't think this, this transfer isn't really very good at all. And uh, I do have the DVD, uh, the Anchor Bay DVD release. Uh, I think it was also re-released by Blue Underground. Uh, if anyone knows the difference between the Blue Underground and uh, Anchor Bay release, let me know if it's a better transfer. Because it's, it's got to be better than this. <laughs> I just think people uh, like charging a lot for this one because it's, uh, it's pretty rare. Uh, it's odd because it looks a lot like the same people who put out um, uh, Cannibal Holocaust lasers that I've got. But that one label says Cult Epics. This one says Professional Cinemedia, so I don't know if they changed names or whatever. Okay, moving right along, we've got Romero's Night of the Living Dead, THX, Certified Elite Entertainment Release, 25th Anniversary. This is the first time the movie was actually, someone put any kind of effort into transferring this movie, and it shows because it's a very, very, it's probably the best pet transfer of the movie up to this point. Uh, people say the... Elite Entertainment DVD and Anchor Bay Entertainment DVD uh, blew this one away, but how can it really? Um, it's got really because they're both going to be full frame editions, four by three, four by three aspect ratios movies. Um, but the only difference is the, uh, the lasers has 425 lines of resolution and the DVD has 480 lines of resolution. That's why I never bought the the movie subsequently bought the DVD because I don't think it's anything better than than this. So. I'm glad to have this first. I think it was also the first Elite Entertainment release on Laserdisc. Okay, we have the wrong, the wrong group's uh, Laserdisc release of uh, Argento's Phenomena. I was so lucky to get this. I was looking at this. I was trying to get this for a long time. I think I got it uh, last year or the year before. And uh, I've actually put off seeing the, the initial American release of this under the title uh, Creepers because... I had read that that was severely cut, like missing like 25 minutes of uh, footage, and uh, got this. This is supposed to be the uncut version. Though I've looked on um, the Laserdisc database, and the uh, Japanese Integral Edition, uh, at least on the database, says it runs a few minutes more. So I don't know if that has more footage, or is that just the county that they have might have a trailer or something, like that, a couple more trailers or supplementary material on there. But uh, I guess I'll have to get the lasers and find out. Hit <laughs> the Japanese Integral Edition and find out. Anyway, uh, one of, uh, what you call it, Jennifer Connelly's first movies. Okay, and we've got James Cameron's Piranha 2, The Spawning. <laughs> uh, this is a pretty rare release. It's by Embassy Entertainment. Uh, I think it's the first time this was released on Laserdisc. And uh, old uh, transfer, analog transfer, and analog uh, sound as well, so... Um, not really worth having unless you got, uh, unless you really like lasers like me, and uh, you want to make sure you have all of Cameron's movies. <sighs> Actually, if you want to get to it, I enjoy watching this more than uh, what you call it, uh, Avatar. <laughs> um, okay, moving right along. We've got this double feature of Queen of Blood and uh, Planet of the Vampires. Uh, I mainly bought this because uh, Planet of the Vampires is on here. Uh, one of Mario Bavi's best movies. Uh, the problem is, <laughs> they split it up into two discs, and uh, they didn't separate the movies by uh, by size. I mean, if the the beginning of Planet of the Vampires is like in the middle of the di of the uh, <laughs> middle of the uh, the uh, the near the end of the uh, this, the the first uh, the first disc. So, oh well, what are you gonna do? This is also a pretty sought after uh, release. 
Uh, I think I've seen it go for like 100 bucks on eBay and other uh, websites. But uh, I'm just glad I got it for a good price. Okay. Turn of the Living Dead Part 2. Uh, image laser disc release, image entertainment release. This one I got because even though it's full frame and uh, the DVD is out there on widescreen, I got this one because this one has the original soundtrack while the uh, DVD does not. Uh, that's one of the reasons why this took so long to get on DVD because the uh, soundtrack issue. Same thing with the first title, the first movie, Return of the Living Dead. I'm trying to get that one on Lasers 2 because it has the original uh, soundtrack. So, um, you know, I saw it, when I first saw it, they had the original soundtrack with all the uh, punk and heavy metal in there. And I want to make sure I watch it that way. That's the way I see it. Um, I might get the DVD as well just so I can have the widescreen edition, see what I'm missing as far as picture wise. But uh, I'm not going to get rid of this laser disc anytime soon either. Okay, we've got Savage Streets. Uh, not a horror title per se, but it is you know, exploitation. Uh, you know, because you've got the rape scene with Linnea Quigley. Uh, haven't watched this yet, but I heard good, a lot of good things about it, so can't wait. <laughs> Okay, we've got uh, Wes Craven's Scream. Uh, big, big news because you know, the latest uh, edition came out not too long ago. And they're also talking about a fifth movie. We'll see. This is the uh, director's cut, which has this commentary. I, from what I understand, you can't get the commentary and director's cut on the same disc. So uh, Here we go. we got uh, Scream Greats. These two video uh, magazines from uh, Starlog Video and uh, Fangoria Entertainment. Uh, I've never watched this one yet. I hear it's pretty good, but this one is the one to get because you know it's Tom Savini's uh, uh, works up to this point in his uh, you know his factory, and I got this autograph by Tom Savini as well. So I hear he's a kind of a jerk. So when I got the autograph, I didn't really say much to him. Just handed him my disc and handed him my cash and got my autograph. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I keep on hearing bad things about him as a person. So I'd rather not have it tarnished <laughs> by asking many questions. <laughs> Uh, we got Argento Stendhal Syndrome, starring Asia Argento. This is the Japanese release. Um, still haven't gotten around to watching this. I really should, because <laughs> I hear it's a pretty good movie, even though I don't really care for Asia Argento. I know it's weird of me to say that, because, you know, since I'm such a big fan of Argento, but his daughter just doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Media Entertainment, Stuff Stephanie the Incinerator. I believe this is a trauma movie. Yeah, trauma. Uh... Haven't really haven't watched this yet, so I hope it's uh, you know stupid and and, uh, and scary at the same time. 